running from raiders, and sleeping on the go has gotten tiresome, Repair B&B is happy to present the beautiful home plate residence right in the heart of Diamond City. Diamond City, a nice place to stay. And you probably won't get shot. Repair B&B, doing the best we can. Well, hi there. Are you the traveler sent by your repair B&B? Ah, that's wonderful. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ludmilla Kennedy Clutterbuck, and it is an absolute delight to meet you. Is this your first visit to Diamond City? It is? Oh my, well, you are in for a treat, my dear. Come on, let's go in and I'll show you your new home away from... Well, wherever it was you were before this. And here we are, the great green jewel herself, Diamond City. I'm willing to bet it's the biggest town you ever saw. Am I right? Over here is Father Clement's All Faiths Chapel. But I hear it's very nice. On the left is the headquarters for public occurrences, the town's newspaper. The editor there is just adorable, though not everyone thinks so. Strong-willed women can be disturbing to some with a more plebeian view of things, you know what I mean? But anyway, there's so many amenities here, you're just gonna love it. John and Kathy here run the super salon, and they can set you up with a new coif if you so desire. And Dr. Sun over here, he can take care of any ailments you might have. He's not the cheeriest of fellows, but he is efficient. And if you need clothes, Becky Fallon runs Fallon's Basement here. She is a direct descendant of the original Fallon family that started the dynasty way before the Great War. And Power Noodles here is one of the social hubs of our fine city, providing us all with delicious, nutritious noodles 24 hours a day. <laughs> Over there at Swatters, Mo offers weapons and collectibles from some gladiatorial type of game played here centuries ago. And Arturo Rodriguez, well, he sells more modern and perhaps more effective weapons and ammo. Then, of course, there's Mina for a wide assortment of items you might need. Personally, I find her a bit difficult to get along with. Yeah, it's true. I got shot in the ass last year. Long story. Ah, and security. Best in the Commonwealth. But uh, uh, my apologies for his crude language. But here we are, my home plate residence. I've designed this space to be as warm and welcoming as possible, and I do hope that you find it comfortable. Over in this corner, we have a relaxation area where you can read, entertain guests, or stretch out on the couch for a nap if you like. Our custom-made fireplace is really the heart of this home. I designed it myself, you know. I do find that if one has a creative outlet, one's state of mind is much more at peace. On the mantel, we have a few family heirlooms, like some of Nana's porcelain collection. We've got a historic flag from the American Revolutionary War and a little hand-carved toy given to me by... Well, one of my former romantic encounters. Oh, he was such a sensitive soul. I don't, I don't know where he is now, but I do hope that he's doing well and made it away from those awful gunners he was with at the time. Oh, oh anyway, <laughs> you didn't come here to hear about that. So let me show you over here more of the wonderful things that we've collected over the years. Of great pride is our collection of holotape games. There are word games, puzzle games, but I find the shooter games to be the most enjoyable. In much the same way the ancient Greeks would use the drama of theater as a catharsis for the populace, I find that these dramatized games of self-preservation to be a personal catharsis to deal with all the unpleasantry of modern life. I don't support violence, mind you, no. Not at all, but in game form, separated from reality, I find the intense challenges to be quite uh, soothing, in a way. If you'd care to play any of these games, you can just come over here and plug them into the monitor and play to your heart's content. 
Of course, if you prefer analog games, we have this game center set up over here for a relaxing game of chess or checkers or the old classic blast radius. And if you're in the mood to entertain or would simply like a cocktail yourself, we have a fully stocked bar set up in this corner. We have a nice selection of wine and spirits, as well as soft drinks and beers for you to enjoy. We even have two bottles of Beau Brav's Best, lovingly distilled by the Beau Brav Brothers, right here in Diamond City. They run the dugout in. If you ever feel like going out for dinner or a drink, I cannot recommend them highly enough. Upstanding young men with good hearts, both of them. Ah, and over here, we have one of my favorite parts of the whole house, our light sculpture wall. The design is again my own, but it was beautifully constructed by some local craftsmen here in town. The design, as you can probably tell, was inspired by the 20th century minimalist light sculptor, Dan Flavin. His purity of line, his sensibility of color, elevated the common fluorescent light to the heights of a fine art material. So this is my humble homage to the great artist right here in our little home. And speaking of art, I cannot forget to tell you about our wonderful handcrafted parquet floor. This simply took ages to accomplish, but we are so pleased with the final product. No other home in Diamond City has a floor like this, I can guarantee. No, really, I can guarantee because Mr. Williamsbaum, the creator of this floor, met a tragic end while out searching for lumber one day last year. According to the witnesses that were there, Mr. Williamsbaum had just found the perfect maple tree to finish his latest project when an albino death claw seemed to appear out of nowhere and decapitate the poor man in one fell swoop. How no one saw a 10 foot tall, pure white monster standing behind a maple tree is a mystery we will never understand. But that was the end of Mr. Williamsbaum and his great art. But enough of that sad tale, my, my apologies. Let's, let's move on to the library. Here on the right is yet another of our family's greatest treasures, a portrait of my great 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 grandfather, Lieutenant Colonel Robert Van Lederhosen Clutterbuck, fighting in the Siege of Boston in 1776. But yes, our dear ancestor was absolutely integral to the retaking of Boston from the British when he valiantly rode out in front of the British troops and said some very unflattering things about their mothers, which made them so angry they couldn't concentrate properly and ended up losing the battle. We're very proud of him and we have kept this portrait safe for over 400 years now. That's true, true story. On this side of the room, we have the library and reading area. You are, of course, welcome to read any of the books you find in the archive or even enjoy some lighter reading in the magazines we've collected and kept safe for a very long time. As we make our way into the dining room, please take note of the delicate work done in putting up these room dividers. I really don't know how the builders came up with all of this. I would tell them what I wanted, and they just did it, using whatever they could get their hands on. Such brilliant boys. Now here in the dining room, we have a little tea service set up for you already. Pre-war Chinese porcelain, I believe. Well, it couldn't really be post-war Chinese, but well. Anyway, uh, at the center of our kitchen is, of course, the hearth fire stove with its unique ventilation system. Ah. How this place is not full of smoke, I cannot fathom, but the hot fire stove is really the cutting edge of modern repair technology. We have plenty of cookware for you and even some goodies already on the fire. More cookware, table settings, and cutlery you'll find under the stove in the cupboard and ingredients and foodstuffs galore you can find right here next to the stove. Feel free to use anything you like. We are fortunate enough to have plenty. 
We also have a nice selection of spices over here in this chest with various other kitchen accoutrements on the shelf above. We also have this terrific sink which runs both hot and cold running water with dish and hand soap along with plenty of a Braxo for any laundry you might like to do. Being out there on the road, I can only imagine how dirty things can get. But you're here now and you can clean up your entire wardrobe if you so desire. Ah, and we do have plenty of purified water for drinking, so don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. That's so important for one's health. You don't want to go around looking like a ghoul, you know what I'm saying? Not that there's anything wrong with being a ghoul, I'm just saying. Over here, we have some more cleaning supplies for the house, should you need them, but you shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Included in your stay is a twice-weekly cleaning service, so you should be fine. There's also an emergency exit, should the need arise, though I'm quite sure it won't be necessary. But just so you know, exiting through this door will set off the alarm, you can see that just to the right over there, and those sweet boys from security will be here immediately to help with whatever the problem may be. Ahem. Well, hello, beautiful. Then, back here, we have the privy and washroom. Indoor plumbing is such a luxury, and one that honestly I just don't think I could do without. Our stainless steel commode is one of the best in the market, and with its patented silent swoosh flushing system, why, no one will even be the wiser that you've been back here to, you know, do your business, as it were. We've decorated with a few more of Nana's porcelain collection. Oh, that woman was simply mad about porcelain. And we've inherited the greater part of her collection, most of which you probably have noticed around the residence already. Another thing that we are quite happy to have is a fully functional shower and thanks to the city's relatively reliable infrastructure, water is available nearly all of the time. The shower was built into the same system as our kitchen sink, so both hot and cold water are available when using the gorgeous rainfall shower head up there. Absolutely delightful for washing the road from one's hair. <laughs> There's also a little sink here for those quick little freshen ups or for brushing one's teeth in the morning. We have laid out a complimentary toothbrush and toothpaste for you, along with a hairbrush that you are welcome to keep as a souvenir. Well, that's the first floor. Let's go take a look at the upstairs and then I'll leave you to your much deserved time alone. Ah, uh, yeah, before we head upstairs, there's some more of Nana's pottery, but these were pieces that she made herself. She was quite the artist, my Nana. Had her own kiln, even. Until there was a slight mishap and she burned down a quarter of the city. Not her fault at all. And in the long run, that area now provides Diamond City with a much larger agricultural area. So all good in the end, I suppose, right? Yeah. But anyway, here we have your sleeping area. There are extra blankets in the credenza here at the foot of the bed. And we also have a little office area for you to use. We've had a number of writers stay with us as of late, and they have been kind enough to help us with some of the supplies that any writer might need to get their work done. So if you feel like expressing yourself through poetry or prose, you should find this an ideal spot to do so. And now, my favorite spot of the whole place, our spa and relaxation room. In the corner is a hot tub, which I find to be just the thing for tired, sore muscles or an agitated mind. But before getting in the tub though, might I suggest taking advantage of our yoga and meditation space to calm the body and mind before sliding into the warm water of the tub. If you are not familiar with the ancient art of yoga and meditation, I believe there's a holotape in the lounge on just how to practice these things. If it's not there, you just let me know and I will find you a copy. It really is the most amazing thing. It's a wellness practice nearly lost to time after the war. I discovered it after a stay at the Psychonauticals retreat not far from here. Interesting place, I must say. Such forward thinking and kind people there. Anyway, I do believe I've taken up quite enough of your time. I will head back home now and let you get settled in. 
If you have any problems or have any questions, please feel free to contact me at any time. If you need to speak with me urgently, just go out to Power Noodles and talk to Takahashi and he will get me a message immediately. Don't be put off by his seeming inability to understand and his singular response of Naneshimoska. He'll get the message to me no matter where I am. And if it's not urgent, just leave a message at the super salon and they'll be sure to let me know whatever it is you need. Now, you'll be staying the full two weeks, right? Oh, that is wonderful. I know you're just going to have the most marvelous time here. Well, my dear, it was so very nice to meet you, and I wish you a wonderful, relaxing stay. Two weeks later. Hello again. Oh, my, my. What an absolutely lovely evening. I hope your stay with us was everything you hoped for, and I do hope it won't be the last time you stay with us. You know, you were honestly one of the nicest people we've ever had stay with us. Nothing's broken, and you didn't get arrested, not even once. Oh, really, it's so nice to meet people of quality these days. Well, I send you with my best wishes for health and happiness on your journey. And don't forget to tell your friends about Home Plate Residence, okay? Take care, dear. Goodbye. Of course, if you prefer analog games, <laughs> lovingly distilled by the robot, Please take note of the delicate work Hung Ding Sapa Hanta and ingredients and foodstuffs galore. You can find right here next to the Shama. Our stainless steel commode is one of the very best on the market. And with its patented silent swish flushing system, which is not easy to say. Our stainless steel commode is one of the very best very the very best on the market. And with its patented silent swoosh flushing system, why, why no one here? Suddenly I've turned southern. Well, all right then. I do believe I've taken up. Now I'm British. I know you're just going to have the most wonderful time here, y'all. The year is 2031. Roman Dianetics invades the great plains of locusts. Bicycles. We could use a little light.